So I want to talk about bullies and what I've learned about bullies over the last many years that I've been dealing with them. So bullies like you to think that they are in control, that they are the tough person, that they're to be feared, when it's the exact opposite. Bullies are weak. Bullies are insecure. If they weren't, they wouldn't be bullies. So all these MAGA people that treat people this way and bully people, look what every single one of their ideologies is based in. Fear. Fear. They're afraid of the LGBTQ community. Absolutely afraid. Moms for Liberty is a complete organization based in fear. They're afraid of minorities. They're afraid of education. They're afraid of losing elections. Fear, 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 fear. This is why I've made it an absolute habit and I have a reputation of being known for standing up to bullies. Because I know that the kryptonite for a bully is standing up to them or holding a mirror up to them and displaying their own words and actions to the public. Because bullies can't stand ridicule. They can't. So that day at the board meeting when those four hyenas attacked Jenny, um, we showed up because we were watching online. Jenny didn't call anybody down there. We were watching online. We saw her speech and because she's someone we care about, we rushed down there to be with her. That's why we were there. And you know what happened? When we were all sitting out front and Jenny was still upset, every single one of those people, every single one of those bullies exited through the back of the building. Not a single one of them came out front. They were all terrified of the fact that they had been exposed for their bullying. When I first got there, I walked into the board chamber, took a look around, didn't speak, but in that moment, Leslie Sawyer happened to be walking into the board chambers, big old smile on her face. First thing she does when she sees me, smile drops, and she looks like she's seen a ghost. And I'm just staring daggers at her. And I said quite loudly, you fucking bully. And she didn't say a goddamn word. She walked around, sat down, and this is the type of person who always has some shit to say back to anything. But the reason she didn't, the reason she looked like she'd seen a ghost, is because she knew that she fucked up. And she knew that I was going to expose all of this shit. And that's exactly why they went after Jenny. Because they felt like Jenny was alone and weak and didn't have any backup or support. So that was when they chose to strike because bullies are cowards. Bullies are cowards. So if someone is bullying you and they think they can take advantage of you because they think that you're an easy target, show them the opposite. Stand up for yourself. Fight back even if that just means verbally. Most of the time, it just means verbally. Or record them displaying their shitty behavior and then show the rest of the world. Because another thing bullies absolutely can't handle is ridicule. They can't. They cannot handle ridicule. They cannot handle seeing a video of their own shitty behavior and reading all the comments of people that are telling them what a piece of crap they are. They can't handle that because they're weak and insecure. Another example, look at uh, Mike Paul Bitchke. He writes all this big shit on Facebook while he's hiding out in Oak Run. The few times we've ever actually interacted in person, he's back down like a little bitch because he's insecure. He's weak. He's not the tough guy that he wants you to believe he is. So he attacks other people to try to make himself feel stronger. And that is so pathetic. It's so pathetic. Being a bully is so pathetic and insecure. I've already said in a previous video that a lot of people seem to be starting to do this, uh, purchasing body cams. It doesn't have to be something that just the police have, especially when we have this very contentious political climate and people who are willing to strike when they think no one's looking. Wear a body cam. Just do it. Because if anything, it will deter these bullies from displaying that shitty behavior because they know that they're in the wrong and they don't want the whole fucking world to see what a piece of shit they are. And if they do act like that, guess what? The whole world will see what a piece of shit they are. So it's the perfect thing. Like honestly, these people are more afraid of my camera than I am of their guns. That's just the truth. I'm not afraid of their cameras. Anytime one of them is like filming me or anything, I don't give a shit. Because I got nothing that I don't want anybody else to see. 
They do, though. They do. And to all of you bullies that I know are going to watch this because all you guys do is stock everything I say all the time, we're all watching you now. People are paying attention to you and your behavior, and you will not be able to get away with being bullies any longer without the entire community seeing it. So I would marinate on that. I would think about that. Because you guys have been trying to bully me for years, and guess what? Still fucking here. Still showing up to these meetings. Still getting married to a beautiful, successful woman. You didn't get rid of me. You didn't break me down. I stood up to you. And now you guys are terrified of me. Hmm. <laughs>